Hello, my foodie babes of Chef Pam Creole Cuisine. I'm in the kitchen right now preparing a delicious red pepper, corn, and shrimp chowder. I have the most important part, which is my base that I have cooking right now to thicken a little bit. What I did was add um, the four, four cups of water plus one cup so that you can add your um, your bouillon, powdered bouillon. And then I have in here, I have rice, I have potatoes, I have uh, corn, chopped onion, chopped bell peppers, the red bell peppers. We have celery. I have chives in here. I added a little bit of dill because I'm going to add some shrimp in here. Then I also have the red pepper, cayenne pepper, black pepper, garlic, and like I said, I'm going to add my shrimp. And then I have one cup of heavy whipping cream, which is what brings the thickening and the whiteness mixed with the yellowing of the base from the corn, potatoes, and all of that. So what I'm going to do right now is add in the cream, which is going to give a quick thickening to the corn chowder. Okay. So we got that going. And you want to stir that and keep an eye on that because you definitely do not want this to burn or go into a rapid boil, which will cause your chowder to burn. And I want to apologize. I haven't been uh, on my channel for a few days. Um, I lost one of my best friends that passed away. And... Uh, I needed a little time to get myself together and come back into my own space. So I'm here and like I said, we will be in the kitchen doing all sorts of different things. I love to cook. I want to share it with you guys. So I'm back and I have so much to offer and so much to give you guys. So make sure, as my foodie faves that's following me and becoming subscribers, and if you see a recipe that you would like from my videos, please leave a comment so that I can give you the recipe or if you want to go in the kitchen, have me redo it and we'll do it step by step, we could do that too. So like I said, I have the cream in here the heavy whipping cream and it's a cup in here along with four cups of water that i use to make my base for my uh red pepper and corn and shrimp chowder so let's see let's see what it's tasting like mmm mm -mm -mm very good the base is just right the flavors are there I have a little bit of fresh ground pepper black pepper in here also to give it just that little flavor that you need when you have that corn chowder with the shrimp and everything in it Just look at that. So delicious. You can see the corn and the red peppers. You could see the celery along with the chives in here. Just a little bit. I mean like a like a little pinch. Everybody have their own little pinch. So the pinch to the size of your finger will be perfect for your chowder. Okay? So now we can go ahead and start 
putting in the shrimp because that doesn't take long to cook. Oh yeah, guys. Ooh. I love ch uh, chowder. I love soups. I love all of these things in the fall season. And we're going into our fall season, especially our gumbos. All those delicious comfort foods, you know. This is just some really good things with a nice glass of wine. Woo! Boy, I love the, the fall. I love the festive time of the year where you get together with your family and enjoy all those delicious meals. And that is what we're gonna do, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and add our shrimps. I've deveined them, cleaned them, peel them. And like I said, it doesn't take long for shrimp. As soon as they turn pink, you don't wanna over boil it because then you'll have a rubber shrimp. And nobody needs a rubber shrimp, okay? Especially when they're beautiful and the size like this. So, you can see how the soup is thickened. Look at that. There we go. have our delicious chowder I felt that this was this was the perfect time to go ahead and fix some delicious red pepper corn shrimp chowder I really fix that most of the time at this time of the season because it is so rich and so juicy Hmm. And for those who are watching their calories and their figure, you don't want to eat it too much. But when it's time, like the fall, to come in, oh my goodness, it's the best time to just go ahead and just sit down with a nice bowl of chowder. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Yep. So we could go ahead and turn that off because the heat from the soup will finish cooking the shrimp. So we'll go ahead and scoop in a nice bowl of that. Oh my goodness. Nothing like a good bowl of corn and shrimp chowder. Just look at that, guys. Big juicy succulent shrimps so like I said if you'd like the recipe leave it in the comment don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified when I'm in the kitchen subscribe tell your friends where you're getting all your cooking advice at chef Pam Creole cuisine see you soon